Cave Hill has, <coughs> Louisville, Kentucky has many more wealthy people than we have over here. And it's a bigger cemetery and they are continuing to sell graves in it and they're more expensive than the graves are over here. So they can afford to have endowments and things like that. And I wondered if possibly there wouldn't be a grant that would be available to Walnut Ridge so they could get some money to repair some of the stones. That, that bears looking into because they do a wonderful job and they work like dogs, I know, because I've been out here, seen them. So we're going right here. You stay here in the shade. <laughs> You all stay in the shade. <laughs> you can get up here. I'm just good. <laughs> all right. This is the Edel family. Okay. Oh, all right. And you can see that there's a stone toppled in the middle. Now there's a problem with this, and the problem is. The stone is for the first wife of this man, who was the mother of a man who's buried two sections over, and he's restless. And we've been having some problems with him in a certain public building in Clarksville, on the site of where the old farm was. And he scares people. It seems that several people have seen him appear in a public building near there. He just stares at them and he disappears, but he does mischief at night to the chairs and papers in the office. And I know this <laughs> because I know some people that work there and they told me about it. And um, it's, a, it's a room with chairs and tables and books and papers in it. And uh, the janitors go in at night, they set the chairs up on the table, they vacuum, they take out the garbage, the last thing, they always do it in pairs. And when they come back in the building, everything that they've nicely straightened up is scattered everywhere and the chairs are knocked over. So it's not a coincidence. So I'm thinking, they asked me about it and I said, well, maybe he's upset about something. And then I came over here and saw this and I thought, this is his mother. Maybe he wants her tombstone fixed. I don't know. But So I went over and talked to him and I said, Pop, stop scaring people. You're not doing yourself any good. I'll get the tombstone fixed. It's going to take a long time to do it because they have all this other work to do, but I'll take care of it. So somehow I'll take care of it and we'll see if he goes away. Gross. 